Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Area 41 2016. We are delighted you joined us once again at Switzerland's leading technical information security conference. Over the next two days, we invite you to collaborate with your peers in order to learn, share, and improve. No matter if you're on the offensive or the defensive side of security, we put together an illustrious set of speakers to help you make the next step forward in your InfoSec career. And now, for the opening ceremony, please welcome to the stage, representing DEFCON Switzerland in the Area 41 Organizing Committee, Candid West and Stefan Friedley. That's got to be enough for now. Good morning. <laughs> so welcome, everyone. Thanks for coming in here. We know there's been some issues with uh, public transportation. So uh, lucky you for getting up early enough to be here on time. And uh, thanks for already being seated. All right. Let's start with some changes. I don't really see any of you, but. Well, it's gotten really full, that's cool. Um, for those of you that's just coming in, there's some seating here in the front row, so if you want to fill that up, that's, that's there cool. There always is. <laughs> All right, so um, first thing first, we have a couple of slight changes to the schedule this year. Um, unfortunately, Felix Lindner has fallen sick and will not be able to attend uh, in his place. Oh, yeah, welcome. In his place, uh, Greg Oyele will attend tomorrow. Uh, he's a collaborator of FX and is working on the same project. So the talk will stay exactly the same, just the speaker will change. We obviously hope that FX will, uh, like his condition will improve very quickly and you'll feel better. Um, second change, uh, Asher Chavet unfortunately had to retract his talk on uh, cross-head scripting The Force Awakens. It's one of the best titles, actually, that we had. Um, but fortunately, and thank you very much for that, Fai Teilperin, which some of you know from the last OVAS meeting here in Zurich, uh, stepped up and uh, will present his uh, talk on uh, XSSI. And I think that's a more than appropriate replacement at this point. So thanks, Fai, for stepping out on so, such short notice. Apart from that, the schedule is as it was. Uh, obviously, we couldn't reprint all the programs that we already handed out, but you know, we'll be, it'll be fine. Okay, a little bit of housekeeping. Um, you're all in track one right now. We have the former underground track, track two. It's right downstairs in the club. You can go down there through the funky Pharaoh uh, like, you know, Staircase. stairway. Please don't die when you're going down there. <laughs> it's sort of tricky, especially since the guys outside, some of the sponsors are handing out beer, so, you know, a bit careful. Then um, upstairs, we have a fantastic rooftop terrace. You can, uh, we'll leave it open today throughout the day. We might close it tomorrow uh, when the weather is going uh, to be worse. But for day, today, feel free to get some sunshine while you get a chance. Um, the terrace is also the place where we'll have our barbecue uh, tonight. There will be some more information on that later. Um, in the entrance area, we have all the sponsors that have uh, supported Area 41 this year tremendously, so please give them a visit. Um, there's a smoking area outside at the end of the corridor, if that's your thing. And what have I forgot? Oh, yeah, right. We have catering this year because some of you guys didn't like the sandwiches two years ago. So we figured, eh, fuck it. Let's just get food. And food will be served right behind you. We'll open the door there at lunch. And you guys can see that you don't starve. So that's cool. Now, um, uh, probably to maybe the for house Yeah, maybe for housekeeping yeah. as well. Um, you Hopefully already saw there's free coffee and free water, so help yourself there, stay hydrated. And the toilets are just on your backs to the right there. Follow the small corridor, it's written uh, toilets. There's toilets upstairs as well, and there's coffee as well upstairs. Just 
go a little bit to the right of the terrace and you find some additional water and coffee machines. There are four emergency exits on this conference. <laughs> Never mind. So do, do you guys like your batches? Yeah, cool. <laughs> have, have, have any of them caught fire yet? <laughs> Is it okay? No. Um, Don't scare me. The mastermind behind the Area 41 batches, as for every hash is in Area 41 batch up to this point, is Candid. And Candid is going to tell you a little bit about the batch now. But before we do that, can we please get a round of applause for Candid, who spent the last two nights Thanks. flashing those batches. So yes, the batches. Um, maybe a few words, um, as Stefan already said. Some of them might get warm, um, as in very, very hot. That's not the fingerprint sanitizer, uh, so don't put your finger on the Wi-Fi chip, because, well, it will wipe your fingerprint, uh, but probably from your thumb and not from the, the device. We're not too sure why they're getting hot, um, so please just exchange it with another one. We assume it's the lanyard, which might get a, a short circuit, and some of the other um, issues I might explain on the next slide as well. Because, um, you know, we had two years' time to do the batches, so obviously we started last year, um, of course. Why would you wait for a last minute, right? Um, did a little longer than expected, and here's just one of the things. Um, when I sent some of the material to um, Le Krogot, uh, who helped as well with the batches, and, well, I mean, you rely on express sending, in Switzerland, so you would think that, well, it's getting there, right? It went eventually, after 24 hours, um, but we saw it got misdirected a few times. And that's just one of the examples. Uh, some of the batteries, um, well, I ordered them in four batches, as in four packages. Three of them arrived. The last one, they say my, ex, uh, my address doesn't exist anymore. I'm not so sure, and it's still missing somewhere. No idea where. And that also helped for the three weeks delay that we actually had planned that in the end the batches arrived a little bit later, as in this Wednesday. So turns out um, we were actually flashing and soldering the last batches um, this morning at five o'clock, which might also explain why some of them get a bit warm. Um, because yes, it was getting early in the morning. So please. If it gets too hot, as I say, exchange it. Um, but you don't really care about that. You want to see what's on it, right? So basically, there is a Wi-Fi chip, an ESP 826612E, um, which is basically just one of those funky IoT chips, which you can reprogram with your Arduino IDE or just in Lua scripts now as well, or C, whatever you uh, prefer. At the moment, it's checking in into the separate Wi-Fi network here, and it's checking for specific um, color patterns. So we can actually send you new color patterns down if you like to. And you also have two buttons. The two buttons are for voting. Um, so we haven't really taught the speakers yet, but, um, well, there's always a first. Um, we're gonna say that the left button is if you really like the talk and say, yes, that's cool. And the right button is, well, could be improved or maybe swapped for another one next year. Um, so just keep that in mind, press those, and we actually gather those for the talks here in room one. The underground track, room two, is still on their own, so there you have to tell them directly if you don't like it. But, well, please be nice, as always. Um, you can also find the, um, the code online on how to do it. So in the agenda, there's a link for, with more information. But of course, uh, it wouldn't be a hash days area 41 batch if there wouldn't be any Easter eggs. So what you can do is actually press both buttons at the same time. It will flash a little bit on the blue side. And then you have to find the right uh, well, combination of left and right. There can be up to nine uh, different settings. If you find one, it will blink green a few times and it changes your color pattern. So just play a little bit around. It's explained in the agenda as well. See how many of them uh, you find. 
And I think with that, have fun. Send us the feedback per se. There's the feedback formula which have been handed out. Please fill them out. We do love the feedback and we take it uh, seriously as you've seen with the chairs which we have replaced after the feedback from uh, two years ago. And bring the feedbacks back to the uh, t-shirt stand. There's a kind of a small box where you can put them in for the raffles. And that's for the batch. So as mentioned, um, we were planning for nice weather and at least that wish got granted. So tonight there's gonna be a barbecue on the first floor in the terrace. Um, it's gonna start at 6.30. There will be different uh, sausages, there will be vegetarian options, there will be salads, um, of course, all for free. There's some rumors that some, maybe with VIP batches or so, might get free beer. Uh, I think Stefan's gonna address that uh, later on as well. But please join us. Um, we try to keep it open till around nine o'clock and um, yeah, enjoying the nice weather. All right, all right. Two things. <laughs> Number one, um, after the last talk, we're going to start a barbecue pretty much right away. There's no wait period. You don't need to run away, get food elsewhere. It's fine. You won't starve. Um, while you guys are upstairs eating and drinking and having conversations, we are going to clean this area here so it's nice and pristine tomorrow when we start again. Um, that means that the exit will be upstairs with the stairs that goes downstairs. Meaning, if you use the wardrobe that is outside, you will not be able to go down again. We will put the wardrobe racks upstairs so you can grab your stuff, but don't get confused. All your stuff will be upstairs. Nothing will be down here. You don't need to break through any barricades or anything. It, it's good. Which reminds me, there are some doors in this venue that say staff only. And despite this being a hack conference and social engineering is cool and shit, we mean that. <laughs> I'm serious. We had some incidents two years ago. We have a zero tolerance policy on that. If we catch somebody where it's not supposed to be, uh, you won't have a cool batch anymore and you will be gone. Sorry. Um, another thing that we will not tolerate is, and um, we said that before, we will not tolerate any harassment of any sort in any way. We don't have yellow cards. We don't have red cards. If you, if you get harassed, talk to a uh, staff member, we will handle it, and we will remove anyone who makes this experience for anyone participating worse than it needs to be. Okay, last thing. Who of you got one of these um, VIP thingies? Me, me, me. What, who was that? <laughs> well, it's okay. a flyer. <laughs> Look. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Some people thought it was a free ticket, which is not, but we sorted that out. And we, the initial idea of these cards were that we would give people some, some goodies here on site, free beer, stuff like that. And that's what we're doing. It's just that after a lot of conciliation and uh, consideration, sorry, we decided that, you know, we're just going to get free beer for everybody. Is that cool with you guys? So rest assured, while the VIP cards do not carry any particular defined function at this point, we still love you very, very, very much. Especially those who have sent in the secret code, which was actually on the Max Tribe card, which Actually, no one did. No one. Look, look, <laughs> if we give you a card with a max stripe on it, you know, there is probably something on that max stripe. <laughs> there was like a voucher code that would give you a, actually a cheaper tickets if you entered it into Eventbrite. <laughs> Not a single person did. <laughs> None. Which is For nice. For shame. <laughs> Oh, because that means you care and you want to help actually donating money to make the event better. So yeah. thanks for that. And you still get free beer. So this is really not a teachable moment, isn't it? Oh, wait. So unfortunately, even with those discount counts, it wouldn't work out to organize the whole conference for two days and um, everything. 
So we have a few different sponsors, and um, thank you very much for Fortinet. They actually do have free beer outside there already, and it's nice and uh, cold down, so visit them as well. We have Entity Com Security and Infratrust. Uh, they have nice coolers for beers, and they have Club Mate to keep you awake. And we have Ruach, and we have Kaspersky with some nice uh, different swags there uh, with some sunglasses and shades as well. So silver, uh, the platinum so sponsors, sorry. Thank you very much for supporting Area 41 Conference. Then we have the gold sponsors, Swisscom, Protect7, and Fission, which provides the network here at the conference, but also check out the other, like Protect7 has a whiteboard with some funky coding experiment, and they actually have some nice uh, prizes to give away. So visit their booth, check it out, and you might be able to win some really, really nice technical prizes at the end. And last but not least, we also have the silver sponsors, InfoGuard, Google, and Ernst & Young, who support the uh, Area 41 conference. Okay, I think that's all we have for now. Is there anything else? I think no, I think we don't want to keep you waiting any longer. So enjoy the two days. If there's anything we can improve, please approach anyone from the staff. We try to make it better. We try to listen to whatever you have to say and actually make it better for everyone, which sounds like a win-win. Okay, so let me introduce you to our keynote speaker this morning. He has been in InfoSec for such a long time. He is the founder of I'm the Cavalry. Please give a warm round of applause to Joshua Corman.